Okay, so in this one, we're going to try and do some some transfers into Reaper. So I have uh, Reaper running here. So it's a completely empty session or empty project. Uh, you can see my project settings right now is going to a folder called Reaper Media. And Soundminer is able to use bidirectional communication between Reaper and apps like um, Nuendo and Cubase to figure out what your transfer path should be. Uh, it will try to do the same thing with Pro Tools, but Pro Tools doesn't have a sanctioned API to do this, so I need to do a bunch of hacks, which for the most part kind of work. But you can manually set your transfer path here by clicking and choosing if you need to. Under, under Preferences, under Transfers, you can choose what sample rate and bit depth and file type you want to use. Um, that's important for things like Pro Tools, who can only su support one sample rate in the session at one time. Um, if you're working with Reaper, you might want to transfer 96k files at 96k and 48k files at 48k. In that case, you just toggle that on, and then it disables those. There's handle sizes, uh, 10 seconds I've got right now. So that just means if I've marked a section of the sound and I go to transfer it, I'll have handles so I can open up the file afterwards. Um, your naming scheme, right now I'm using the original file name. There's a bunch of presets. So why don't we change it to like description and category. Uh, there's a little info thing here for like little scripting that you can do, um, as well as the File name length limit, so we can crank this up. Actually, we'll just go whatever, 64, I think would be nice. Intelligent transfers, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, and a few other little options, whether you want to do interleaved or poly, like multi channel, multi mono. That's useful more from a dialogue point of view. And you can also use the these little I, little buttons down here to just pull out one track or or say three tracks of a six track file. Um, and that's used in conjun conjunction with that. And we'll get back to that. So I'm gonna just, I am gonna transfer it 48K 16 bit. So let's just choose a section of the sound file. And I talked about the spring markers before, so you can mark just a section of the sound file. And now if I hit Control S, actually before I do that, you have to go to DAW menu and you wanna be able to see what DAW you want to target. So in this case, it's Reaper. And there's a special extension that needs to get installed. Uh, if you just see Reaper by itself, you don't have the extension installed, or it's not uh, communicating properly with it. So you want to be able to see that. And if that happens, you get the spot to DAW button here. Anyway, the quick key is Control S. So I hit it. It will swap me to Reaper. And there's my little section of the sound file. And because I have the handles, I can open it up afterwards as well. So that's that. I can pitch up, obviously pitch the sound down. And it will transfer at that, that rate. So there it is all pitched down. You can, so let's just choose one channel. Do that. So there's just one channel of the sound file. Uh, intelligent transfers. I said I would talk about that. So what intelligent transfers does, I'll find something that's got a lot of space. Yeah. So because I have 10 seconds, let's say I, I'm going through my show or my game and I'm like, okay, I'm going to pull this one in. And then later on, I decide, oh, I want this sound file as well. Rather than making duplicate media, because you would have this audio file with some handles on either end, SoundMind is smart enough to look and go, oh, I can reuse that portion of the audio from what you transferred before. So obviously you're not going to have 10 second handles anymore. You're going to have maybe, well, this is very short. This is six seconds um, or four seconds. So you would have six seconds on, on this side. Um, but that's, it's making, it's reusing the, the media to the best of its ability. Uh, so that's a very useful thing to do, especially when you're cutting uh, film, movies, and you just don't want to pollute your session folder with multiple copies. Um, or if you want to be able to go in later and do a, a mass replacement of perhaps a media file, um, that's a, a good little workaround kind of thing for it. So that's what Intelligent Transfers does. Yeah, that would be, I, I was going to talk about plugins, but that will do. We'll keep these kind. We'll try and keep these kind of short.